Thanks for tuning in. Slowly but surely, we're getting back to normal. We're in the green zone. We've had one or two days where we've had zero new infections. Nobody's hospitalized with coronavirus. We're not out of the woods. Keep getting vaccinated, keep being safe. But right now, we're getting there. And it's time to start looking at some other issues. City of Havel has a $210 million a year operating budget. This year, we got an infusion of $38 million in one-time money from the federal, federal government. We can only use it for certain purposes. We can't and shouldn't use it to hire a lot of additional people. It's one-time money. When it goes away, that means you taxpayers would have to foot the bill. So let's be cautious on how we use it. I'm going to work hard to have a comprehensive plan on what we can do with this money. We can only use it for certain things, to make up for lost revenue. We can use it for water, wastewater, and broadband expansion. Water and wastewater improvements, by the way, alone would be about triple the amount of money we're receiving. We need $100 million just to meet the federal requirements of those departments. In any event, before we come up with that plan, there are some things that needed to be done right away in order to make certain our city is safe and well provided for. First, I was disappointed to find that there were some senior citizens living in housing authority projects in this sweltering heat wave that don't have air conditioning. Some of them have air conditioning units, but they can't get them installed. The housing authority is not allowed by the state to do that. So they're sitting on the floor somewhere. Sweltering heat is not just an inconvenience if you're a senior citizen in bad health. It's a real health risk. So I've ordered our recreation department to go out and install these units. We'll pay for them to make certain our seniors are safe. The second thing we've done is in our police department. We're, we're going to have some additional psychologist trained people in the police department to help with mental health issues. It's a new turn for our department. It'll make us a leader throughout the state. And last but not least, I've directed that $500,000 of this one-time money be directed to fix our streets and sidewalks. We already do this, of course, but this will supplement our budget and allow us to do more. Now, we have millions and millions of dollars of roads and sidewalk improvements that are needed. This will only make a dent, but we need to do this. We need to make certain we have a safe and walkable city with good streets and good sidewalks. We'll see what else we can do. Thanks for listening. I'll be back next week.